Voilà, c'est ça ma. She is back. He's a uh, very pretty. Plum. Purpley coloured. Shopper. Satchel, if you like. Recycled material. Apparently, a, a byproduct from vehicle windscreens, I believe. And the inside is recycled bottles. a lot of stuff, which is a bonus, and uh, I got it in the sale at Matt and Matt. They do a, a final sale on some items that you need to choose very carefully. Lovely big candles, very firmly stitched to ensure it lasts a long time. Nice and big to go over the shoulder. I think it sounds really lovely. So, got a new purse as well inside. So, it was a treat for the autumn season. I think the colour is perfect for this season. And it goes with a lot of the clothes I wear in autumn. A lovely green, sort of khaki green trench coat from uh, second hand from Depop the other week, and uh, goes really nice with this. Would you like to look inside? A zip at the top, this is different and um, it's nice and secure. The bottom, the back, does a nice straight flat 
section at the bottom so it stands up very well and holds the shape so I'll open the clasps hopefully nice and quietly if not that'll be a, a smooth face Uh, a main compartment and through the middle there's a wallet pocket and you can see the lining there the lining is uh, recycled plastic and it's quite soft There's a pocket here the back and the inner wallet and a zip at the top as well. inside the mat and mat and it says let me try and read it it's in silver it says mat and mat live beautifully there are some hooks either side there. and a strap a strap came with it so you can attach the strap to these D-rings inside but I never use the straps the item that I can hear the most is making the most of a sound and it's a tin with a hair attached to it a long hair so this is a of travel suites which some of you will know I often have a tin of here in my car and this is in my bag because it's on its way to the car hasn't made it yet or should I say it has made it but it's not made it out of the bag and into the car it has a bit of the label missing because I tore off the price tag. I don't 
listen to by the forest fruit flavour in whichever brand is in the shop. These are Simpkins, established 1921. Finest all natural, the original travel sweets. And proudly made in Great Britain by Simpkin and Co. Limited in Sheffield. And these are Blueberry, raspberry, blackberry flavour. This is what they look like inside. So usually, and you can see a little bit, there will be dusting, icing, sugar around them so they don't stick together and in this particular tin there isn't a lot of icing sugar but some of the tins have loads of it in I don't know why that is because when you've finished all the sweets you can lick your finger and dip it in <laughs> and have all the icing sugar And they're handy to have in the car to offer around to whoever's in the car. It's, a, it's an old school thing to have sweets in the car. Like a grandma thing. <laughs> so, I will pop those over there. And hopefully they make it into the car soon. Okay, so... Bag, I would say if it lacks anything then it would be pockets at the on the other side for perhaps a phone and a little one for maybe a lipstick or something. Um, but the back pocket itself is quite deep so Use the back pocket here for makeup and lip balm and hand cream. So perhaps I'll use a little uh, cosmetic bag for that and pop the phone and the keys in here. So let's take out all the stuff I have in this back pocket. I'll show it to you. Valida Skin Food Rich Intensive Skin Care For Face or Body And it's very very thick It's pretty good actually For Your face in the winter As long as you don't have oily skin If you've been outside It's cold You could give yourself a treatment With this Same smell, same uh, recipe, 
and you can get it in a lighter form as well. You can have a tube skin food light. Um, you can have a body cream, a thinner body cream or a thick one. You can kind of hear how thick it is. This is a 75ml for dry, for very dry and rough skin. But it's all natural and good for you, so if you want an intense, intensive um, treatment for your body, your face, then once in a while on the face is pretty good. Gives you that lovely shiny look the oils. There are lots of different oils in there, it's quite difficult to distinguish one from the other, but there's citrus in there. You turn the bottom and it goes up and down. And I bought this in Serbia. It's a German store. And I wear it most days when out and about. There's also a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in here. And this one is Kidman's Kiss. I've had this for a long, long time. It's a lovely colour for redheads. It's like a coral colour. Perhaps I can show you my hand. Or oh, perhaps not. <laughs> Looks like a bruise. But it's, uh, it's a coral actually have a bruise on my hand there. I was carrying shopping into the house and whacked my hand on the door handle. It really hurt. <laughs> and uh, I've got it. Which is annoying because I always think, oh, it's going to show in video. <laughs> um, and then I have my trusty lip liner. Charlotte Tilbury. Been wearing this for many years and it's the... would be good if I could... Uh, it's one of the lip cheats. It is... I'll have to pop it in the description because for some reason it's gone right out of my head. Pillow Talk, that's the one. It's the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat. And it's always been the perfect colour for me. I have looked for cheaper dupes. Is dupe the right word? And um, I've found others that are nice, but I've not found one that is as nice as this on me. Perhaps if you know uh, a good dupe, let me know in the comments. And from the dentist. They are little, they're called TP and they're um, like flossing sticks, toothpick flossing sticks. They're very bendy. This is the smallest size. So if you're out for dinner, Thing. 
in the ends and then they get wider so you can get right in there but they're bendy so they're not as good at um, picking but very good at flossing in between and so I quite often just So when I'm editing videos, I use my professional studio headphones, which are super sensitive and tend to hear everything louder, so my videos were coming out quiet. So I do a final run through with AirPods because most people to videos, ASMR videos through AirPods, so I just have a, a listen through to check the sound level and I always have to turn up the sound once I hear this because these kind of compress the sound a little and make everything a bit quieter, which is good if you have sort of, um, if you're using microphones that have a lot of self noise, it compresses it for you and makes your sound actually sound better. <laughs> but my microphones don't have hardly any white noise at all and so they come out quite clear on my studio headphones so I have to turn them up to make them compatible with these. Turn the sound up. So I do a bit of a double edit Speak a few things, and uh, I could edit the whole video in these, but then I would miss detail. So I use my other ones to get to every single detail, and then check the levels on these. So let's pop all that back, and then we'll go to the new. it's called Vera. It's 
a vintage PU PU leather recycled again wallet. I'm going to have to use it for a little bit to stretch it out because the compartments are quite tight at first. So I'll wear it in. I like the colour of it and the kind of washed vintage look. The style of it is very pretty with a full fold over. So on the back it has a zipped compartment. Smooth it. Inside the lining again is the recycle bottle sliding up. It's a nice colour as well. It's a nice brown colour. There's uh, some crinkle going on there as well. Which is nice. So I haven't got anything in the back. Very handy. It has two clasps here. One for when you don't have a lot of money <laughs> and one for when you do. So one for when it's most mostly full with um, receipts and stuff like that. And there are two sleeves, compartments at the front here. It's very well stitched, very well made. Strong. And um, uh, it says here, the lining is made of 100% recycled plastic bottles. We recycle an average of every year. This is inside the purse. And 
So you've got uh, one, two, three, so six on either side for your card, six compartments. And then you've got the two uh, compartments either side of the zipper. So I have my debit cards and my driving license, which I can't show because it has my address on it. Um, I've got an Oyster card, which is the card that we have for London Transport. Oyster card separate from other contactless payment cards when touching it on the card reader. I guess because you would get charged twice. So, usually you would have this in some kind of a wallet and you just slide it. These days you can actually just tap your debit card as well on the reader as you go through the barriers. Um, but I have an oyster as well. So if I'm with someone, like with one of the kids or someone else and I want to pay for their travel, I'll give them this and I'll use my debit card as well. So And I have some um, stamps. So these are postage stamps. I have four first class stamps here, they're quite old. I keep forgetting I've got them in my purse and I post things at the post office without using these up. So there are four first class stamps there. It says here, valid for items up to 240 millimetres long, 165 millimetres wide, 5 millimetres thick and 100 grams weight. So like a letterbox uh, shape package and under There's another first class stamp, and this is a Christmas one. There. So when you are posting your Christmas cards, you can buy a whole book of Christmas themed stamps. If you buy a book of them and then stamp, uh, stick them on at home. So when I was little, uh, you used to lick the stamp. Six 
It's always handy to have stamps in your purse. in my purse. This was given to me by my sister-in-law. Um, it's Vietnamese and uh, it's a Buddha. Um, there's some there's some chants on the back which I can't read. But she did teach me what to say. Um, and there's a little angel here. sister-in-law gave me this as well. It's um, from her temple and it's a piece of material with some writing on and that's another chant as well. And it's good luck to have it with you at all times. So I just put it in my purse. And it's in this little plastic. are so tight at the moment. Some passport pictures. Or passport sized pictures. That's of my daughter when she was a baby. She's older.
picture on paper and so in my shoes and uh, a fairy outfit doing some artwork and that's me and my me and my husband there And uh, next to us is my brother, but um, I haven't got permission to show you his picture, so I'll show my younger brother, who's uh, uh, six years or so younger than me. Um, and there's a passport picture of me, but it's really things in in there and you forget about them don't you i've only just noticed them because i've changed purses so uh put some coins in here do you want to see the coins So we call them coppers, so anything that's that colour, are they still made of copper? I presume they are. So 1p, 2p, they're coppers. So have you got any coppers? And that's a, a one pence. It's very small these days. I remember when they were a lot bigger than this. So, are they about the same size as a five cent? Two of those and the queen set is on the back. And then these are the twenties. Two, four, six, and eight. Ninety-one pence we've got. We're rich. What could we do with ninety-one pence? Not much. There's a twenty P. Let's find a clean one. There you go. Uh, 20 pence piece and they have different designs on them this one is a uh, what on earth is this it's a uh, dragon I think maybe is it a Welsh dragon you can probably connect them somehow On the and on the five pence, 
got no idea what's on there. It looks like a bit of a harp. Some sort of limited edition, something or other. We could probably match them up. Um, sometimes we get limited edition coins and people save them and sell them on eBay for more. Because they're quite rare and they go into circulation. Big cards, got gift cards as well from Christmases ago. Still haven't been spent because I hardly ever go shopping. Um, but there's something I've got three HM vouchers, a TK Maxx, which I need to use up soon. Um, and there's a Primark one. online and they expire in 2025 so we need to use them so I'll go shopping with her and we'll uh, buy some things in H&M for her So we've got a packet of tissues, always good to have in your bag, and we've got of course your packet bags. Away shopping bags. This is one, and this is a uh, one that folds away into a strawberry. I use these so much. I've got some other ones that pack away into a strawberry as well, some green ones. And you've probably seen these before, lots of times every year. They do less. We've got an essential for the UK, of course, a trusty brolly. I go through brollies quite a lot because people pinch them.
a little totes brolly with a case and I'm not going to open it because it's bad luck to open a brolly inside a brolly is short for umbrella over here and so um, I've got a crushed up fortune this may concern. A mistake will work out to your advantage. Okay? A mistake will work out to your advantage. So it's not really a mistake in the end. Something that you perceive as a mistake right now won't be later. How exciting is that? These are my latest glasses. I need to go for an eye test soon. I get a lot of compliments about these ones. They're Dolce & Gabbana and you can get them on different websites. them in Um, but with glasses, there are some nice designs that are, just happen to be uh, designers, aren't they? There's really cool ones that you buy, they tend to always be designer, I find. I wouldn't care what label they were, as long as they were nice.
nice sound, isn't it? And then, I don't know why this is in here. I did see it beforehand. one of those, um, they call croissant headbands, is that right? And I've shown this in a video from a shopping haul, Velvet Rose, 100% polyester, and it's, uh, it's quite nice. But you use them to do your makeup. Got a hair comb in here. I absolutely love this comb. It's so good. It's um, it's a tangle teaser, and it has perfectly wide teeth to tease your hair after you've washed it. One of those long um, afro combs, I think they're called, with it's smaller than this with really long teeth, and it's kind of um, if you look at it on the side, it's kind of uh, bended. Bended. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? The um, teeth come out like this and then down, and um, it's really good. But they there is a seam at the bottom. I don't like combs with a seam, and this one doesn't have one, so I think they damage your hair. So if this was perhaps a bit longer, that would be even better, but it's good. It's good for when you've just washed your hair or if you've curled it and you don't want to um, brush out the curls. There's actually another two things in here. one in my bag. A little one. That's to clip your food bags. And I have some for emergencies. enjoy using this this autumn and winter um, I'm sure that I'm going to lose my phone and my uh, keys every single time I go out because they're not going to be in just one place so I'll either just accept that On the back, it has 
so an M and N uh, imprint. that little nosy through my bag. I always say these videos are for nosy people like me. I love having, having a look what's in people's bags. I used to love looking through all my friends' stuff when I was little and tidying up their bedrooms and sorting through things. Joining me for this what's in my bag twenty twenty three and if you're watching this in of dreams to you. Lots of love. Good night. <laughs>